search for the shelf, so it stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, and it weighed not a penny weight more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, and was always his treasure and pride. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering is life second slumbering. It stopped short. Never to go again when the old man died. Watching its pendulum swing to and fro, many hours he had spent while a boy. And in childhood and manhood the clock seemed to know and to share in his grief and his joy. For it struck twenty-four as he entered through the door with his blooming and Short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering is life's second slumbering. It stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. My grandfather said that of those he could hire, not a servant so faithful he found. For it wasted no time and had but one desire at the close of each week to be wound. And it kept in its place not a frown upon its face, and its hands never hung by its side. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering is life's second slumbering. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. As we silently stood by his side, but it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering is life's second slumbering, but it stopped short, never to go again when the old. Go again when the old man